Today's video is sponsored by PetFlow.com. Those first several weeks of having a puppy should be dedicated to building communication with them. After all, our dogs have no idea that doing something natural like biting us or chewing things up is not acceptable to us. So we have to be very patient with them and show them how to properly behave. Fluid communication doesn't happen overnight, but in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what to do in order to get started and minimize that time. If you're new to my videos, make sure you are subscribed. I also have a great playlist that will show you how to teach your dog all of the basics in order. Click thumbs up too. Now let's go meet Diana, Michael, and Lafitte. Diana, tell me a little bit about Lafitte. Lafitte was found on the side of the road. Michael and I went and adopted him, and he was only about five weeks old at the time. He's chewing on her shoes because he's such a puppy right now, going through the biting stage, chewing things, biting things, and he's just like so interested in everything around him like puppies are. I love this. Uh, why don't you show me a couple of the things that you've done? We work with him every day on sit and um, giving paw and, and lying down. Sit. Good boy, and that's a paw. That's that a good paw. Yeah, very nice. What kind of dog is he, do you know? We have no idea. We have been told many thoughts that people have, anything from Park Catahoula, Lab, Australian Shepherd, Roddy, we really have no clue. Our biggest issue with him right now is biting when he's playing, and it's when he's right, really excited, he'll start kissing and it'll turn into bites and it's starting to actually hurt because he's getting bigger and bigger by the day. We don't want people to be afraid of him and we don't want him to keep doing this as he gets bigger. Dogs bite for a couple of reasons at this age. A, they're teething, and B, uh, they're interacting with the world because they don't have hands. That's how they grab things. That's how they investigate things. Michael calls him a land shark because he just runs towards us, mouth open, just coming at us. So some days it's worse than others, but um, he just doesn't understand that it hurts us. And so that's kind of an issue. And right now, you might notice that I'm picking him up right now. I had him on his back uh, just to kind of cradle him and see how comfortable he was being held by a person. You know, it's important that when we have a dog, if we do have a dog this young, that we get them used to being touched kind of firmly, you know, because when people come up to your dog, they're gonna pet them like this. So it's a really good idea to desensitize them, massage their paws wherever possible. Because, I mean, look, right there, they can interpret this as play. When a human thinks they're just petting a dog, a dog might think, oh, this person's playing with me. Biting like this, so natural, so expected. I mean, at this age, 10, 11 weeks, it's not realistic to eliminate play biting altogether. Why don't we get down here low to the okay. ground? and work with him a little bit, let him walk around. I still do feel the need to warn a stranger that he <laughs> will bite or yeah. could bite. Up, oh, there's the bite right there. Ouch! Oh. Got my finger pretty good, but that's, you know, that's normal. That's what you sign on for when you get a puppy. <laughs> he seems to be kind of a moderate play biter. The first thing I think we should do is teach just kind of a basic leave it. Now, you can see he already knows I've got this real turkey in my hand right here. I'm just gonna go over this really quick. I have a full video in the description that will show you how to teach your dog to leave something alone. But right here, when he backs off, I'm just gonna go ahead and reward him. So cute. Yes! There's more going on than just teaching him to leave something alone here. The big purpose of teaching leave it is so that we can communicate to them, no, that's not what I want, because if we just go up to them and get frustrated every time they bite us, they're not gonna understand what the problem is. So it's good to establish that clear communication. Uh, you know, remember, those first three, four, five months of working with a dog is all about building communication. So you're gonna have these periods of time where it, there's gonna be a disconnect, you know? And that's, that's totally normal. That's why we teach them, that's the point. I'm gonna actually go to the next level with it and see if I can get him to leave it alone as I open my palm. Even just for a second, I would be thrilled with that. Look at that, guys. Look at this. Uh-uh. Wow, that's great. Are you surprised by this? I'm, I'm surprised very by surprised. this. That's great. Good, Good boy. boy. You have so many different textures, so many different toys here, which is ideal uh, when you have a dog this age. You want them to chew on these things, not your furniture. I like chew sticks a lot, especially for puppies. You can get chew toys like this for your dog at PetFlow.com slash ZachGeorge. I love PetFlow because they give you the freedom to have food delivered straight to your house. You can determine what period of time you want that done in. So no more driving across town just because you forgot dog food. You can also get 15% off when you enter code ZachGeorge15 at the time of checkout, and they give you free shipping on all orders over $49. So if you have a new dog, it would be a good idea to get acquainted with PetFlow.com. I'll have a link in the description and the information to get your discount. Play biting 
is one of the most predictable behaviors that there is when it comes to teaching a dog. And when we have the luxury of knowing when an unwanted behavior is about to occur, that is a, that's a blessing, that's great. Because it means we can come prepared. So in the case of play biting, we could approach him with a toy like this. If we know that he's likely to do it anyway, let's show him what is acceptable to chew on or bite on uh, rather than getting on him when he bites us. If you engage them with a toy like this straight away when you know that they're likely going to be in a bitey mood, this does a couple of things. A, it shows them what to chew on. B, it is the beginning of teaching your dog tug of war. Now, tug of war is one of the most under estimated rewards in dog training. And most puppies will play it instinctively. Now I see he's good about tugging it. Is he good about letting it go? No, not really. And that's required if we're going to teach our dog to play hey. tug of war. What's kind of ironic about teaching a dog to not bite is that if you can teach them to bite when you ask and stop when you ask, that you can really make a lot of progress here. Uh-uh. That's just play growling, that's normal. Do be careful because their aim isn't very good. Like when he jumps like that, they might get you. So you gotta make sure you're using the right kind of toy. Just wait. <clears throat> See, we're just making it less interesting. That's all we're doing. I'm not trying to pull it away from him. I'm gonna wait for him to let go on his own accord. Yes, good. Now I have a couple of options here. I could come prepared with a toy and encourage him to put his teeth on that and we could make a training session of it. Like, hey, you can bite this, but you also need to let go of it. So you need to be prepared to kind of teach both of those things. Or if you have like a real severe case or a dog that's in a really, really bitey mood, then you would want to come armed with your good food rewards. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna pet him at first. Yes, I like that. And I wanna follow it up with something. I want yes to mean something. Hey, yes, good. <gasps> Touching him under his chin there. I just want him to have a positive association of calm, acceptable behavior when people are interacting with him. At no point here has he tried to go for my hands. Uh, sometimes he tries to bite in this situation, is that yes. right? You wanna get him used to being touched. I'm gonna grab his paws right here, yes. You'll know that you're on the right track with play biting when they start licking instead of biting where they used to bite. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. So, you know, oh, that's okay, that's okay. Yes, good boy, good, good. Good job. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna get his tail here, you know? I mean, that throws him off there. Because you don't wanna wait until they encounter a situation in their life where they're just totally thrown off by someone touching them. Um, this is a good way to prevent possible dog bites in the future. You know, if he's caught off guard. Good boy, yes. I'm gonna try and take it to the next level. Here, I'm gonna pet him. Uh, there goes a little biting, but I'm gonna, when he stops biting, good, yes, there was a lick right there. I wanna try and reward those licks. Yes, good. This might look a little ridiculous, but this does serve a purpose because we're proofing it. We're trying to get him used to, up. Uh, look, do you see the biting there? Uh-uh. If your dog does bite you, simply say no and remove your arm from them. Now, if they're particularly wound up, it might be a good idea to just give them a brief timeout, let them relax, put them in a bedroom or something. Not because they're in trouble, but just to be like, all right, I'll let you calm down. So what I think we should do is get them really playing a good game of tug of war. Be patient, wait for him to let go like we talked about, and then try and pet him. So he's starting to play tug, he's into biting mode. Get him going pretty good. Oh, good. Yeah. Now, now ask him to let go, and if he doesn't, hey. simply make the game uninteresting. Let go. And be patient. If it takes 30 seconds, so be it. Good. Good. Oh. Good. Now, I'm gonna try something here, because he really likes this toy right now. I'm gonna see if we can get him to do a leave it like we did earlier with the toy, but this is gonna be a little tougher, because he's kind of fixated. Uh-uh, let go. Uh-uh, leave it. Yes! That was, that was really good. Make them think. Have your hand there as a barrier to keep him from getting at it provided you feel safe doing that with your individual dog. Um, but that was really good. Let's try that again. Good, good boy. <laughs> He's got a great, great tug here. Okay, that's enough. And I'm just gonna try and stabilize it. It's a little tougher with these toys, but uh-uh, let go. Yes, good, very good. I'm gonna try and pet him here. Good boy, good boy. 
Yes, yes, <laughs> wonderful, wonderful work. I've got to give them a piece of turkey for that. For those of you at home that have young children and want to know what to do when your puppy starts to play bite them, you as their trainer, as the adult, need to teach them how to behave. It's not up to your child to teach them, it's up to you. If you have a dog that is very likely to bite guests when they come over, be one step ahead of them, have them on a leash, or have them out of the room so they won't be in a position uh, to be really mouthy with your guests. I mean, there's a lot of things we're asking him to do here. He's been on this planet 11 weeks and he's doing remarkable. That first few months of teaching our dogs really needs to be dedicated to communicating with them and understanding, because see here, he's going back into the biting. You see that? I mean, that's normal. Uh-uh, no, yes. Good. Good. But we just have to communicate what we like and what we don't like and reward the behaviors we like heavily. Let that be the emphasis of your training and you can't go wrong. I can't wait to see how Lafitte progresses. I think you're doing a terrific job with him. He really is an amazing, amazing dog. And what kind of dog do you think Lafitte is? Tell me in the comments below. Click thumbs up to show your support for more videos. Like me on Facebook as well. Link will be in the description. And please support our sponsors, petflow.com slash Zach George. You can also see that link in the description as well. All right, guys, see you in the next video.